I never expected fighting a mine to be my life's work or, or I never expected it to take this long. The fight has been going on for almost half my life now and my entire adult life. This year in Bristol Bay, we had the largest salmon run on record since recorded history. We had 65 million salmon returning. And really over the last seven years, we've had nearly record-breaking runs almost every year for the last decade, which is, it's just a testament to what happens when you protect the environment and keep the habitat around for the salmon to return to every year. The pebble mine is actually referring to a deposit of gold and copper ore that's located directly upstream from Bristol Bay, saddled right between two of the major watersheds in Bristol Bay. And, and this gold and copper deposit is one of the largest deposits discovered in North America. But the problem with it, it is very low grade ore. And to mine the deposit would require leaving billions of tons of toxic waste behind forever. And, and that's, that's the issue with it. And that's something that no mine design can get around is, is this leaving toxic mine waste upstream from this productive salmon habitat. Early this September, the EPA announced that they're going to get that process back on track. And our hope is they will reinitiate the 404C process and use the Clean Water Act to protect Bristol Bay. This threat of really an existential threat that could take out our entire fishery is, has been looming every single year. And, and to have Clean Water Act protections would, would lift a huge weight off our shoulders. So this is this was amazing news when we heard in September that EPA was restarting the process, but at the same time we've been here before. This feels almost exactly like we were in 2014 when the Obama administration was pursuing Clean Water Act protections and we nearly saw those protections finalized. And then thanks to Pebble's efforts with a lawsuit and their lobbying efforts, we saw those protections just reversed overnight. And so we're, I'm very inspired, we're back on track, but None of us can relax and none of us can stop fighting until the protections are truly finalized. Bristol Bay today looks virtually the same that it did a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. It's, it's virtually untouched. It's home to 30 communities who have lived in harmony with the salmon and the environment here since the beginning of time. I think for the future of salmon, really, it's essential that we leave places like Bristol Bay intact so they have the opportunity to adapt to changes. And we don't know what climate change is going to bring, but salmon have an incredible ability to adapt and change to their environments as long as we leave their environments there. And, and that's what Bristol Bay, I, I believe, can provide. I have no doubt climate change will bring changes for us as well, and already is, but by keeping Bristol Bay intact and keeping our habitat attacked, we have the opportunity to push back and battle and, and really do our best to protect what we have. EPA has already done the homework for this action and it's already been shown and proven multiple times by multiple agencies that pebble mine would irreparably damage the fishery and that is the trigger EPA needs to act. So the work has already been done. I believe this process could happen quickly and I'm very hopeful that we could even see protections. I would love to go into another fishing season not worrying about pebble hanging over all of us.